Dr. Carl Leopson at the University of Arizona, and this is a short video to help you create your intervention testing graph. Start with a clean workbook in Microsoft Excel and put in your headers for the graph. That's a baseline one session, an intervention one session. You can see here how the text is bleeding over into the next column. We can widen that column by grabbing it at the top and sliding it over. We'll have a baseline two session and an intervention two session. And again, I'm gonna slide that column over. Now let's add some data. And we're going to assume that this is a intervention uh, for on-task behavior. And so we're looking at time-based data. And we'll say that there were 40% of observed intervals in the baseline one session with on-task behavior, an increase to 70% of observed intervals in intervention one, a return to 20% of observed intervals of on-task behavior in baseline 2, and an increase all the way to 90% of observed intervals in intervention 2. Then we're going to highlight our intervention data and our headers. We're going to choose charts, go to all charts, and here I'm going to create a simple clustered column chart. Once you have your chart, you'll see that there is a legend. Usually in these graphs, we don't include a legend, so we will just click on it to highlight it and press backspace or delete. But we do need a chart title and a vertical axis title. So we go to chart layout and we choose chart title. We want a chart title above and this is Sally's on task behavior and then we'll go to axis titles and choose a vertical rotated title for the axis and it is percent of observed intervals and you can see that the titles for the horizontal axis have already been included. That's why we put them initially as headers above our data. You should now be able to click on this chart, copy it, and then go and paste it into your Microsoft Word document. And this is Carl Leopson, University of Arizona. This is the video for your intervention testing graphs, and I hope it helps you out.